Chakios originally started out as Ohulis um, Pub and Brewery, and uh, in 1996 um, it became a brewery, and they installed the system that is still here today. Um, around the end of 2005, uh, it changed ownership over to a gentleman named Art Ostrike, and uh, at that point, um, it kind of took on a new life. Uh, for a while there, they weren't brewing at um, Ohulis, um, so we brought the brewing back up to par, started the, um, the pub end of it, the food, and uh, the name switched to Jackie O's Pub and Brewery, which is what it is uh, today. You know, here in Athens, it's a very unique town, being that it is a college town, um, being that you do have a lot of young students that are, um, you know, coming into their drinking age or their drinking years, if you will. So what we see a lot happening here is uh, that students will come in and they'll, you know, their first couple beers or their first three beers will normally be one of our beers. And then um, as it gets later in the evening or their um, funds begin, begin to dwindle a little bit, then they'll maybe go to that macro beer. For one, we pretty much only produce ales here. Uh, we don't do any lager brewing, mainly because of our, uh, the small capacity that we have and the um, insatiable thirst of the Ohio University students. And the main thing that we do here that makes our ales kind of unique is that we, um, we put a lot of ingredients into them. We make very robust, very flavorful um, craft beer. And um, everything that we do, we try to um, put a little spin on it, whether it's a, um, a local ingredient, a unique ingredient, or just um, a lot of certain ingredients and a certain style of beer. Frequently we're making high gravity beers, um, lots of imperial um, styles of beer, and then we're also, as you can see, doing some barrel aging as well. You're doing both um, straight bourbon barrel aging, um, Cabernet uh, barrel aging, and we're also um, diving into creating sour beer as well that uses um, wild yeast that you can see here and also different types of bacterias. Um, and that's something that uh, we'll be seeing this year at the 2009 Ohio Brew Week and hopefully for years to come. I went to Chicago and met with some brewers there um, and got some insight on barrel, age, uh, barrel aging, how to go about it, how they got started into it, types of equipment that they use. And I called up Art after that meeting and I said, clear out the basement because when I get back, we're buying barrels. And um, that's exactly what happened. From that point on, we've put out a number of um, bourbon barrel aged beers mainly. Um, we get our bourbon barrels from the Woodford Reserve uh, Bourbon Distillery and um, we get those fresh and wet and we fill them with mainly dark beers or high gravity beers. Let them age for a minimum of three months. We're trying to push that minimum to about six months now because we're finally getting get some better flavors from that. But uh, we are um, constantly experimenting with that. After we get that initial use, then we'll do an oak aged beer in that same barrel with a, a much more um, softer bourbon presence and uh, we normally tend to add some fruit during that process. And then by its third use, we start using it for sour um, brewing. So we'll put either a brown ale or uh, typically a golden ale into it, um, give it a little bit of wild yeast or uh, some bacteria, and start, uh, it begins to ferment and create this lactic or acidic beer. Um, from there, we might choose to add um, some raspberries, some cherries maybe, or um, just let it absorb more of that oak character and um, age for a longer period of time. This little guy, this is a uh, fermentation lock. This is a, um, a bourbon barrel that um, has been used a couple times. Right now we have a brown ale, uh, organic honey nut brown inside this barrel, along with 30 pounds of tart cherries, um, a, let's see here, a specific strand of Britannomyces, which is a wild yeast, and some Pediococcus and some Lactobacillus, um, which are bacterias. And um, the bubbling that you're seeing here is proof positive that those wild yeast and bacterias are eating sugars, um, creating alcohol, and most importantly, um, secreting lactic acid, which um, is the essential ingredient in um, this beer, which is Chunga's Old Bruin. We're making really exciting, um, boundary-pushing beer. So what we have here in this barrel, um, this is a beer that we call Grand Wazoo. 
Um, it's a kind of a take on uh, the Grand Cru style um, of beer, or just a, a superior batch of beer, um, something that the brewer um, is extremely proud of. Um, also a play on Frank Zappa's wonderful album, The Grand Wazoo. Anyways, um, so this is a Imperial Raspberry Vanilla Porter, um, which clocked in at 9%, and it's inside a fresh um, Woodford Reserve uh, bourbon barrel. And then we put 42 pounds of raspberry puree into this beer and also dosed it with a whole bunch of wild yeast. Um, so we're creating um, what will essentially be a 12% um, sour dark ale that's been barrel aged in a bourbon barrel. And now we're going to see how it's progressing. Ohio Brew Week, so this is the fourth year, um, being that we are the hometown brewery of Ohio Brew Week, we've been um, fairly involved each year and, uh, and we've really seen it grow um, a whole bunch. Um, you know, the first year was, was a whole lot of fun um, and uh, the second year there was so many more breweries, so many more beers. Last year uh, was a total um, success, I think, on all fronts. And uh, this year, um, of course, everybody's expecting it to be bigger and better. So, um, you know, we're coming out with a lot of really special beers this year, um, a lot of barrel-aged stuff, quite a few um, sour options. And um, from looking at some of the other beers that the other brewing companies are bringing, they're uh, bringing out the big guns as well. Favorite thing about Ohio Brew Week is uh, meeting other brewers. That's always a lot of fun. and. Um, Getting people in here and into Athens that um, haven't visited Athens, um, haven't heard about Jackie O's, um, don't know that there's a great little brewery here in this college town, um, people from out of state, mainly um, seeing people that we've never seen before and uh, hopefully leaving them with a, um, a memorable and a lasting impression upon our beers, um, our staff, and our business.